This week on turning leak detections into repair, we have a self-cleaning pool. For self-cleaning pools, we charge a lot more money than the typical pool. Why? We have a lot more plumbing underneath the pool and it's quite elaborate. Now most of the times when we find leaks in self-cleaning pools, if it is down in the plumbing, it's usually right at ahead or right below it or right around where it sits in the gunite. We run into those leaks all the time. We're able to listen with a drop and drag pool scope, but this was a little bit different. There wasn't a leak down there. We're gonna show you how we did a leak detection on this pool and how we uh, found out exactly where the leak was, so check it out. So here's a picture of the pool. We got a pool and spa combo. We're gonna walk the equipment. We notice we have a pretty elaborate equipment, self-cleaning pool. We got two filters, two pump sets, and we're showing you the floor heads here. We have uh, floor heads up on the steps and in the spa as well. Here are the ones in the spa. Notice we have a bunch of delaminations in the spa that we're just highlighting here for you. Those were not leaking or anything. There was nothing wrong with those, but we're gonna rule out spa jets. We're gonna rule out lights. We're gonna rule out returns. We're gonna listen to everything in this pool. Next, we're gonna drop and drag over the main drain. Now we're gonna drop and drag over the self-cleaning heads. We're gonna to listen to everyone. This is an autofill that's been capped off, so we're gonna rule that out by listening. And here's the self-cleaning canister. And we found ourselves a leak in the seam of the self-cleaning canister. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to check to make sure that everything is not leaking. So we're gonna keep going before we come back and show you our actual leak. Checking the equalizer, we're pointing back out that it is the cleaning canister and we can see the crack and you'll actually see the debris. So this is where there was a crack in the actual canister. It was cracked in multiple areas, but here's where it's taking dye and this is exactly where we heard it. So now you can see how we did a quick leak detection on this pool. We heard our leak with the pool scope. We backed ourselves up with a dye injection and we showed you how we actually found it. Um, this is gonna be a very large repair because we have a lot of plumbing coming into those canisters as they rise, we're coming from the drain. We have a whole bunch of pressure side pipes and again, there's a lot of work involved with it. This is gonna wind up being about a $5,500 repair. So again, how we converted this leak detection into repair, check out all our videos on our Leaktronics YouTube channel and go to our website for more information.